Hi everybody. If you can live without the badge envy that BMWs and Porsches offer as standard, the 2023 Acura RDX is a luxury SUV that is both fun to drive and stylish. The RDX's turbocharged four-cylinder engine has a lot of power and good handling on twisty roads, but the 10-speed automatic transmission and brake pedal feel could use some work. Although the Acura's interior isn't quite as opulent as that of the Genesis GV70 or Volvo XC60, it comes standard with similar levels of technology and convenience features. Even with its flaws, the RDX is a good choice among compact SUVs due to its practicality, pleasant road manners, and value-oriented pricing. The Acura RDX will remain unchanged for the 2023 model year in terms of its styling, features, or powertrain, with the exception of a brand new complimentary 2-year slash 24,000 mile scheduled maintenance plan and free access to the Acura Link connectivity plan for a period of 3 years. The RDX is available from Acura in a single trim level, but it can be customized with a variety of options. All-wheel drive is available for $2,000, but front-wheel drive is standard. We wouldn't buy the A-Spec version because it's too expensive and doesn't really improve performance. However, the package, which adds a better audio system, navigation, more expensive leather-trimmed seats, and other features, is something we would recommend. The advanced package, which adds adaptive dampers and a head-up display, costs significantly more for those who want them. A turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine with 272 horsepower powers each RDX. It is paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission and either front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. At our test track, the A-Spec model took 6.2 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour, placing it in the middle of the pack among compact luxury SUVs. The RDX's throttle response is good at low speeds, and it accelerates well enough to avoid stoplights for most drivers. Especially if the driver uses the paddle shifters that are mounted on the steering wheel, downshifting the transmission might take less time. The RDX has a high-pitched roar from the turbocharged engine that sounds like the NSX when it accelerates hard. However, most of that noise is made up and comes into the cabin through the speakers in the audio system. The RDX we drove had big 20-inch wheels and adaptive dampers as an option, which let you change how comfortable the ride is. Even though our test vehicle was never punishing or noisy, it never failed to isolate the cabin from harsh impacts on the roughest roads. The RDX was supported by precise feeling steering and the torque vectoring SHAWD system, which also assisted in the rapid change of direction. The only time the RDX leaned was when we were approaching a highway on-ramp, otherwise, it was perfectly balanced. Sadly, the experience was harmed by the brake pedal's inconsistent firmness and responsiveness. The RDX has competitive fuel economy estimates from the EPA that are close to the mid-20s. The estimates for city and highway are slightly higher for the front drive model than for the all-wheel drive model. The first one gets 22 mpg in the city and 28 mpg on the highway, when you choose all-wheel drive, 
both of these numbers decrease by 1 mpg. Both highway estimates will be reduced by 1 mpg if you select the A-spec package, from 27 mpg for the front drive vehicle to 26 mpg for the SHAWD vehicle. The RDX a standard adaptive cruise control warranty is comparable to that of Acura's luxury rivals. The powertrain warranty lasts for 6 years, or 70,000 miles. 2 years, or 24,000 miles, of free scheduled maintenance are covered. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.